Scientists who classify animals. Rattenborough here once again. You have been learning about how scientists study the characteristics of living things. They classify all living things into one of five large groups called kingdoms. You have been learning a lot about how animals are sorted into more specific groups within the animal kingdom. The scientists who study animals and their characteristics are called zoologists. Zoologists observe animals to see the ways they are the same and the ways they are different. For example, zoologists discovered. That some animals are warm-blooded and some are cold-blooded. Zoologists also classify animals by whether or not they have a backbone. Animals with a backbone and a spinal cord are called vertebrates. Animals that do not have a backbone are called invertebrates. We learned that there are five groups of vertebrates. Fish, birds, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. The largest group of vertebrates is fish. Zoologists also study other characteristics of animals. They study animal body parts and how they are alike or different. All animals need to breathe oxygen. But they may have different organs that help them breathe. Fish and young amphibians have gills that help them get oxygen out of the water. Mammals, reptiles, and adult amphibians get oxygen from the air using lungs. Zoologists also study how different animal babies are born and cared for. Do you remember which group of animal mothers feed their babies milk from their own bodies? Everything we have learned about animals was discovered by scientists. There have been many scientists who have been interested in animals since long, long ago. A Greek man named Aristotle first classified animals over two thousand years ago. He wrote a book called A History of Animals. As scientists have discovered and learned more about animals, the classification system has changed. There is still much to learn about animals. After all, there are thousands of new animals yet to be discovered and classified. A statue of Aristotle. Every single day, scientists learn new facts about animals. Scientists even find new animals they didn't know existed. There is no end to new knowledge if you study living things. Today, there are about one million scientists around the world who are studying and classifying animals. Even as you read this. Every one of them spends the day observing, experimenting, and finding new information. This adds to our knowledge about the world we live in. Do you remember which group of animals feed their babies milk from their own bodies? If you want to be a zoologist when you grow up, there is plenty to study. You never know when someone is going to learn something that changes the way we think about the world. Who knows? Maybe you will be the first to find a feathered fish or a flying snail. It may sound silly now, but a hundred years ago, nobody knew that whales communicated with each other. What will you discover? What kind of animals would you like to observe? If you were a zoologist.